Hello, uh, it's Dud Muffin. Uh, just wanted to make an update. Uh, it's been about six months now, a little more, with the Foreverware one cubic seven pound washing machine. I've had some questions, I've had some comments. I just wanted to make the video just so I can show them what, what mine's like and how it's been going so far. This is all just. Uh, okay, so I'm just setting it up. I'm just doing some random stuff. I'm about to actually throw these in. My booties. So, these are actually quite big. I don't know if you can tell when you wear them. Yeah, they're, they're quite big. They're like little pillows. So, you know, we'll see how that's gonna go. It's the first time for that. I washed the pillow in here before. One pillow is fine. I wouldn't recommend two, but you can wash one pillow at a time. I mean, depending on the size of the pillow, obviously. So because you know this thing is like one pillow itself, but you know combined, it's like one actual pillow. So, uh, look at that. Let's see. All right them in there with the other uh, boxers and other sweatpants. I was thinking if I should put this one too, but maybe I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I won't push it. Uh, close the lid for now. Oh, look, there's some shirts. Throw these in there too. All right. Now, I just wrap them up like this. Uh, it depends how you want to do it, it's up to you. Take them off, you can put them back on, you can do whatever you want. Your machine, your rules. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is a three prong. I use this extender because my thing is all the way back here. So I need the three to two because this is only a two one. So I'll put that in real quick. Sorry for the darkness. All right, so that's plugged in. Okay. Now, so do this drain hose. The drain hose is quite long, like I said before, so I like to kind of wrap it up around this bin so it goes directly in there, make sure it's clipped in. Okay. And then the water hose. So, for the comments. In the video, I said I was going to fix it. I did fix it, clearly. There's no reason for you to constantly tell me how to fix it. As I stated in the video, I knew what I was gonna do with either Teflon or putty it. And as you can see, it is fixed. Uh, the paper kind of ripped off from use. This used to say, uh, goes to the sink. So, again. Uh, so you just push it in, put that there. And now, I'll power up and push it back again. Uh, put my in. This little whole thing keeps clogging up, so I kind of just because you, normally you're supposed to pour in here and it goes. Okay, normally you pour it in here and it slowly drips, but you use more than what the space provides you with generally. And this little thing starts getting clogged when the the soap starts drying in there. Uh, so best to just pour what you're gonna use right onto it. I just smeared a bunch. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, put that back. Close. Power on. Regular setting. Since I put the booties and put the water level higher. Okay. And then I'm gonna also additional rinse. Add like two or three, oh two. I can do maximum two additional things. So I'm just gonna press play on that. There we go. All right, so now it's done. We're gonna have a look. Close the sink. Pop that, let this count. I like to shake it until the water's out of it. Yeah. Same thing 
those. Check that out. Alright. Seems to be perfectly fine. Now to that extra spin cycle. Oh man. Look at that. This does happen kind of quite often in this machine. Uh, I don't know if the lint catcher is just not good enough or the stuff I'm washing. I have a lot of lint and stuff on it, which probably does. But this does happen a lot. So if you wash blacks and stuff and uh, certain fabrics, you're going to get a lot of this. And it's kind of nasty looking. It's just lint though, but still it's annoying. And that does happen a lot in this machine. Uh, that is definitely something that uh, you, you should know that you're gonna have a lot of lint like this Okay How about this one? Same thing a lot of lint Rest Resting fine They're just almost dry as is as, dry as is Yeah, all right, uh, let's check the lint catcher Wow, that's uh, quite in there. So, maybe not. Actually, no, it's not much in there. So. But, yeah, you get a lot of lint in this machine. I don't know why. Um, so far, again, six months, maybe a little more. Just six months. The, the video, first video was exactly when I got it. So, six months from then. Um, as you can see, it works like a champ. The only thing, again, like I said, uh, this lint stuff you're definitely gonna have lint in this machine it did lint. I don't know why it just it's not uh, Really good catching I guess or but like I said, maybe it's just the fabric I'm using these were quite dirty So it could have had a lot of stuff on it and the inside and all that stuff so it could have been just the stuff I'm washing that did it, but uh, like I said the uh, If you're washing a lot of black stuff, you'll notice the lints on it a lot uh so far again the only thing is this, this thing kind of dries up and clogs up so i just use the pouring in uh the lint again it catches is really good but maybe it's the material i don't know the fabrics maybe i'm using is just too much and it, like like as you can see it's just a lot of lint unnecessarily i'm gonna have to like wipe all that off into a trash can or something um Again, the pause button thing does not work. I don't know why they do it like that. I don't know if it's just a programming error. When you open the machine, uh, right, I'll show you. Still plugged in. So now when you do your washing machine, you start whatever program you pick and you click start. Uh, and you want to say something, you want to add something into it. Or maybe look at it, something, whatever. You want to open the lid for any reason. If you hit the pause button, and open it, 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 it just doesn't work. It, for some reason, when you close it, it, you'll have to redo the whole thing. But if you don't hit the pause button and just open it, when you close it back, it'll go back to it. Right now, it's not because I didn't click it. So it's like, you know, it just turns off because I haven't been using it. Maybe, maybe let me see. Just so you can see. Yeah, it just since I didn't click play, it just, uh, it'll turn off. But if I go for war to wash it, and uh, like I said, if you hit, pause and then open it and come back to it, it it doesn't continue from where it is so don't even bother hitting pause just open it as is and then close it back give it a second and then hit play and it usually will work um i don't like i said i don't know why the when you pause and open it it doesn't work but that's just how it is i, I don't know i'm guessing it's a little programming error or maybe a little wiring error whatever it is um again let me show this part just for anybody else who wants to know again again there's this little flat thing that's completely unnecessary in a way. Uh, I'm guessing that's imagined if, if this thing was big enough to scroll the way in or if this didn't stick out as much as it did. So if you have threads sticking out like this, that's completely fine. As I've said before, it will only go as far as this cap right here because this is a cap, not a screw. So as tight as this will go in, it won't go in anymore. There's a, there should be a wash there's like this inside it. If anything, if not, I'm not sure. Um... It should have a little washer thing in here, like a plastic thing to stop it. If it doesn't, I mean, if it's tight enough, it, it might not leak. That's just the only thing to stop it from leaking. You might, but like I said, there's a washer right here, this foam thing, that absolutely is useless. Yeah, uh, but 
that's not how it is. The front again, as I said, I fixed it. I just put silicone in there, stuffed it in, because I didn't want to unscrew it because of the way they screwed it in it was just weird. Again, like I said, I, I believe mine have been either tested or it was a used model that was sent. I'm not sure how to even tell the difference if it was because there was water in the machine when I first got it. But some people said uh, that in the comments that they test the machine before they send it out. So I assume it's from that. Um, but whoever mate, whoever was doing the test screwed this up. I imagine that's why they left it in the way it was and they didn't like put it in a separate piece because this came attached as was. They didn't come separate where I had to attach it myself. This just was attached and it was screwed up. So I fixed that. Um, and the only one major problem, major problem I had was one time, I don't know why, it wouldn't hold any water at all whatsoever. It, the, the sink would just keep going, the hose would just keep going, and this would just flow all the water out. It will never fill up for some reason. I don't know why. I'm, I guessed that there's like a flipper switch somewhere, like a valve almost, like a plastic one, that uh, was not closing properly or, or or just remaining open for some reason. Uh, I noticed that because it was like a gravity thing, it wasn't being pumped out, it was just, you know, the, you fill it from the top, it leaks from the bottom basically, was, was what was happening with this. And I noticed when I lifted it, the water would just stay in there and wouldn't, it wouldn't leak out because, you know, gravity, I was not gonna go higher than what it, what's in there. But uh, because of that, so what I did was I actually just blew air in here, put it in my mouth and just blew air in there, blew all the water down the holes back into the machine until I heard this like plop, plop, type sound where I believe the, the, the valve popped back into position perhaps. I, again, I don't know, I'm not a mechanic into this machine or anything, uh, but that seemed to have fixed the problem. It, it just... I guess the flat went back and then once it went back, the water started staying in the machine. But uh, I don't know what caused that problem to happen in the first place. Like I said, it just, water wouldn't stay in the machine for some reason, it just kept going. It just, I was like, why isn't this filling? It just, I left it, came back, it's just still trying to fill it up and it would, it would, like I said, just flow nonstop out the bottom. And then when I checked with, the, you know, by lifting it up, I noticed that it's not the pump that's pumping it out, it's just gravity. So something was stuck open, as I said, and I blew air back in, and by magic, <laughs> it fixed it. And now again, it's working like a champ. As you saw, I put all these things in there. You can put a pillow in there. I recommend one at a time, depending on the pillow, maybe two. Uh, it has washed this bathroom before. Yes, it is a little pink. That's because, you know, mixed it with a red. Yeah, uh, you shouldn't have done. But yeah, works like a champ. Hard, you know, fervor wear one cubic feet six months i use it like almost daily just randomly throwing small stuff in there like that and just washing it it's simple it's easy it's lightweight uh the only complaint i would have again in design wise is that what whatever the fucking is wrong with this button right here why again it doesn't pause and the, the wheels here i don't know if you can see them there's two wheels here when you lean it uh, there's two wheels here when you lean it forward you can drive it on it but the wheels are so small and they're so close to the uh, like the trim of the, the bottom that it, it's kind of worthless it's useless if they made the wheels a little bigger uh, you could definitely you know tilt it and just drive it anywhere again on carpet and stuff it's a hassle but because of the weight uh, how light it is you can literally just pick it up and put it where you want um, and also the bottom, only one foot is adjustable. I don't know why. I guess for the spin cycle, if the weight throws it off there, like that's the side you need to adjust maybe. Uh, so only one leg is adjustable. I believe it is this one right here. That's the only one that's adjustable. The others are just standard. Uh, again, the wheels are too small for carpet. Other than that, with the stupid pause button thing, once you figure out your programming, you know how to change the water level, which program you want, how to add. Again, I just found out you can only add two cycles of additional rinse, which I did with these. This is why it's like almost dry as hell. Other than that, no complaints. The machine works like a champ. It is one of the best investments I've made, I believe. Uh, I live in a building and I don't want to use their stupid dirty machine, waste all that money. 
has to go up and down. It, this is just, you know, plug it in, rinse it out. You got your machine. I got a little hanger thing. And yeah, I mean, I, I, you can get a dryer too. They have dryers if you want. I don't need it. This works for me. Amazing machine, I think. Let me clean it up a little bit. Set, amazing machine, clean, beautiful. Uh, again, only problem, some stupid programming for the button. Wheels are too small. Uh, I did have that weird flap staying open thing and the lint. Definitely a lot of fucking lint. Uh, other than that, this is a beast. It's, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, definitely not a sponsor or anything. I just wanted to answer some questions and show you know, update for people who have, who have it or have questions like, uh, like the person who was asking me about this. I'm not sure exactly what their question was. I believe they're just, uh, concerned about the thread being still left open and this is not being all the way against flush against the machine. Uh, again, it's unnecessary. This is only going to go up to where this is. Uh, I don't know why they made it so long. doesn't matter. The machine works. Well, enjoy. Thank you.